short game area a little bit better. Um, it's something that to me is overlooked, not necessarily for a player like yourself, um, but a lot of amateurs. A lot of amateurs, they're like, oh, you got to have big drives, you got to have the big, the big draw, or the big cut into yeah. a tight hole location, or, or something like that. Whereas if they miss the green and they're in buried rough, or they're in a tight lie like like we're standing on right now, they, they kind of get a little bit uneasy. They kind of get a little nervous when they're with their buddies, and, and, and it's kind of just A lot of times it's a wrist action. Um, you want you sometimes come down a little bit steeper, yeah. um, and I don't want your, your chip shot needs to be more of like a, just a simple flow. It needs to you know, like you've, you've heard nine o'clock, nine o'clock start yeah. here and then twelve o'clock. Yeah. It's more of just a simple back to here and a simple fall. It's like an arm it's motion, not, not a lot it, of wrist. Not a lot of wrist. Obviously, if you're if there was a big brick wall right here, you need to get it just on the other side of it. You're going to take all the risk in the world. Yeah. So try to keep that the way up in here and drop the straight down. Uh, but something like a little chip shot like this, all you want to do is just, just a simple, no wrist break, just back and forth. Um, and, and what I tell a lot of the students is, a lot of times in range balls, you'll have a little marking. Uh, obviously, you've got a couple lines here. And I put it in the back of the character, and I want to the leading edge of the, uh, of the wedge to hit back there behind it. That way you're hitting the, what I call the little ball, the golf ball, before you hit the big ball, which is the first. So, if you can hit that right there, you can generate a little bit more spin, and you're able to find a little bit closer holes and also the so that's, uh, that, A lot of times I do that, and that way, when you, when you get to it, you're not wrist breaking. You're not breaking your wrist down when you get it impact. Because a lot of times people flip it and try to get it up, or they, or they just break it down and they chunk it like you do. So, um, so just try to focus on hitting those lines right there and get the ball a little bit higher in the air and a little bit quicker and it'll land softer and also step. Um, but as far as an amateur, 
it might be a little bit harder for them to open up everything, including the club base. You want more of a square attack for more of a net, just so they can get the ball on the green. Like you flipped your wrist though a little bit, um, just right there at the impact, like that right there, and that might be one reason the club face turned over at impact and obviously went a little left, left. Um, and it flew a little bit further as well. So try to just make sure you keep the club face open. Because the club, what, what do you have? 56 degree? I got a 60. You got a 60 degree. Obviously, a 60 degree is going to do the work. Your 60 degree is going to the club face is going to be open even if you have it square. A 60 degree, 60 degree does it up a lot of lines. If you're opening for 70 degrees or whatever, if you're opening it up, you're going to add that much more loss and that much more So a lot of times I just tell them, it's like, fuck your work. It's not going to, there's no reason to help it up. It's going to, if the ball hits the ground, it's going to make it, it's going to get up in the air and it's going to drop down. So there's no reason to help the ball up. Questions or how do you is that, high, is that height okay? Is that a little too high? But yeah, I mean, I mean with a 60, it's obviously going to be high. But a lot of people have different different types of clubs they use around the green. Um, uh, I just grew up. I just kind of thought I was going to the chipping green by myself. And take a 60 and take a 60 degree. Hit off, hit every shot with a 60 degree. It's not hard to play. And I'm very similar. Uh, it's something that, like I said, it's natural for me just like it was to have a good I'm a big fan if it's not broken, don't fix it. Why yeah. fix it? You might as well just keep doing what you're doing. And then if, if you do have a problem, obviously you can address that when it comes up. But if you're having no problem, you can like okay. it. So, uh, I, think the, I think the height is fine. Uh, it's just up to you to continue to do that. It's a little high. It's off the plus Those punch shots around the green, like we were talking about. <laughs> you <laughs> might, you might be. You'll get, you'll, we'll get on the far here pretty soon. Let's see if we can make one. Say if, say if you have to make this when the U.S. Open. Oh boy. Let's go for it. Not a very good term that we like to use in golf, mainly 
does is brings in all negative stuff. So concentrate on making sure you accelerate and accelerate and let the puppy work. The ball will get in the air, the ball will land soft, and the ball will shut down. Okay, so let's get one more.